how are all of you? Today I want to talk about irony. Today I want to talk about that moment that we all know all too well. The moment where we've plotted so long for something to happen that we have it all planned out in our heads. A moment that we think will be perfect and wonderful. But of course, with irony, it doesn't work out that way. So, people would ask, Ariana, what are you talking about? And then I would tell them, so recently, approximately 10 days ago, I put in my two weeks notice, or as close to my two weeks notice as I can get, because a nursing home called me back and said, could you start on the 15th? Which is today, which happens to be a Friday. And of course I told them, absolutely, I'd be happy to. So I put my notice at work, two hours before I had to be there, and I went and I got my hair done to celebrate. The hair that all of you com have commended and loved and held so dear in your hearts. That hair. <sighs> and by the time I came back, everyone in the store knew that I was quitting. And I was thinking how, how happy I am to be quitting a store where everyone knows everyone else's business, where no one can keep a secret. A store where I can only work 32 hours a week because anything over that, and they might have to give me benefits. They might have to pay me overtime. A store where I never know what days I'm going to work until one day before the schedule comes out, making it next to impossible to actually plan to have a life on my days off. A store that has not given me a raise in the year and nine months that I've been there. Now all these you think would be great reasons for quitting a store, and I agree. So why is it that on my very last day, which was a Wednesday, I left Men and Family Foods as an employee for the very last time, and when I left those doors, I didn't feel happy, I didn't feel joyful, I felt something quite to the contrary, I felt sad. And I started to cry. And I went home. And I was wondering why. Why am I feeling this way about a place that has never treated me the way I deserve? A way that has never treated any employee the way it deserves. And it dawned on me. I don't miss men or family foods. I miss the people that I worked with although they may have never gotten pronouns right when addressing me, they still treated me pretty decently. I miss the customers that I would interact with on a moment-to-moment -moment basis that I could make a smile, make their day just a little better, even if it wasn't a monument that would change, even if it wasn't a cure for cancer, I still made their day better. So, I was at home and I got a call from Dawn, saying that Dawn, different Dawn, not the manager Dawn, made a cake for me. And they wanted to know if I could come back and pick it up. So sure enough, I come back and I'm cutting up the cake and I'm sharing it with all the porters and the stock boys and the deli workers and the cash register personnel and so on. And it was a nice memory. You know, for about 20 minutes, I'm being a little hostess, cutting up cake and spreading around the store. And then once again, I left. And I felt something churn in my stomach to the point where it physically manifested itself, to the point where I could actually feel it hurt. And my eyes once again swelled up with tears. I started crying and sobbing. So today I started my new job, a job that you think would make me happy and joyful. But 
I went and I said I need October 31st off because my brother's having a wedding and I'm going to be a bridesmaid. And she looked at me like, that could be a problem. October 31st is one of the most popular days for people that you schedule having off, more so than Christmas and New Year's. The only holiday that comes close to that is St. Patrick's Day. So with those words, my chance of being a bridesmaid were snuffed, taken from me. A chance and an opportunity that I thought I would never have in my life. That was kindled and then once again snuffed out. I know I will never be a bride in Ohio. Not as long as I love the women that I love. I will never be a bride legally. But I could be a bridesmaid. And now this too is what's taken from me. And when I got out after being digitally fingerprinted, I went out to my car and I lit up a smoke. And I started to cry and sob because I realized that this dream this dream that I had that meant nothing to me because I never thought it would happen before that now that I had a possibility of it happening was dashed and killed right before my eyes. I felt sad. So I called my papa, the person all of you know as Davy Joe 2000. And he consoled me over the phone. But this is irony for you. When you think something's going to work out. When you think you're going to be happy when something ends. And something else begins. And it doesn't quite work that way. And I am grateful to be starting a new job. But more importantly than that, I realize how grateful I am. To have the job that I did have. Even though it was a shitty job. Even though it's a job that never treated me with respect, but it's a job. A job that got me where I am today. A job that helped to pay for my laser, that helped to pay for my hormones, that helped me become the person emotionally that I know I was meant to be, and be perceived physically as a person that I knew deep down I was. And for that, I have gratitude. So. That's where I'm at right now in my life. And as always, thank all of you for listening, and thank you for sharing. <laughs>